thing. Sorry for the mix-up at the beginning. I hit one little button and it threw everything into Helter Skelter Land. They didn't hear what? Oh, I know. Well, yes, we had no sound. We started the show. The show wasn't ready to start. The pre-roll went down the tubes. But all in all, <clears throat> we're all here. This is usually where the technicians behind the cameras go, stupid talent. <laughs> That's us. That's on this side of the camera. And yes, I was the stupid talent that had no business... <clears throat> doing what I did to start the show. Crazy stuff. Liz and I were just having a good conversation, and I just reached down here and I hit that, and boom, chuck a boom, boom, boom. Anyway, wonderful to be with you tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to cough here and there. Don't let that bother you. It won't bother me too much. But uh, we're doing a live show tonight by hook or by crook. And uh, it's been too long, hasn't it? So it's just great to be back in front of the camera tonight, not just playing favorites from the old times, but which was nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> but we want to do a live service for the people that gathered. We had a wonderful Glory Partners Zoom call just two nights ago. <clears throat> Several people from around the country joined us. And uh, by the way, if you want to become a Glory Partner, you can do that anytime for any amount. You can just go to newglory.org and become a monthly supporter of our ministry. We would love to have you join this wonderful worship family. I tell you what, though, those folks that joined us and we were talking to, they're just the best people in the whole world. We just love them to pieces and they're so kind and complimentary with their with their words and just their commitment to helping us take the presence of the Lord to the whole earth. Well, I got great news. Romans 8 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. I think that is a great, great thing. And it reminds me of a, a song I wrote, golly, just forever ago. I don't know that I've ever sung it on the program. It's just a simple little, uh, a little thing goes like this. Set us free, Lord. Set us free. Let us worship in liberty. Open our eyes, Lord. Help us to see. Set us free, Lord. Set of my ministry has been about bringing people into the free freedom of worship and not to be bound by traditions and history and fear and 
uh, vanity and all the things that just restrict us and don't let us express our whole heart to the Lord. Um, and that's when I wrote that song a hundred years ago. That's what I had in mind is just, man, we just need to be free. And i um, thinking about our service coming up in Dallas on Sunday night at six o'clock. If you're anywhere around Texas and if the weather's not as bad as it is tonight, <clears throat> because there's some freezing rain coming down in our land tonight, and I know a lot of the country is getting set for a real winter storm impact for the next couple of days, but this is supposed to move on out of here. We're anticipating a great time at First Assembly on Sunday night, and my prayer for that service is that there'll just be massive freedom to worship the King in spirit and truth, and that people will be touched by the glory of his presence. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Let's see what we got here. still a new year to me. I <laughs> saw something on Facebook that said that uh, 
30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except January that has something like 963. <laughs> it just made me laugh because it felt like, for some reason, the month of January took forever to go by. I don't know why, but here we are on 2 two twenty two and February is definitely here and uh, I just uh, it's good to say to the Lord Lord help me in a new year to fall in love with you all over again I want to go forward with you I want that freshness that first love to be right here at the top of my heart and I know God appreciates those prayers and when we pray those prayers he'll help us do that if you ask for nothing, you'll get it. If you shoot for nothing, you'll hit it. But if you ask him for specific things, I believe the Lord will uh, meet you and grant that great desire of your heart. Praise the Lord. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed that last song that is on the album we released in December called Your Kingdom Come. And so many folks are being blessed by it, and uh, it's available through the website. It's available online, but we hope that it will be a blessing to you.
I 
Hope it's your reason for living. I've always said that God had children to give his love away and to receive love back. And so when you and I are loving him through singing, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, or when I look into your holiness, I believe we're fulfilling the highest call known to man to worship him. My three sons can never do anything more than when they just love their dad. That's all there is to it. It's the way it is. Nothing can bring me more joy, make me feel more proud, and want to bless them than their love, their unsolicited love offered to me. And so God has all these little ones running around down here. And when we take time to look up to him and let everything else go by and just say, Lord, I worship you. I love you. I sing a new song for you. I go about my daily duties, but I want those to even be an act of worship to you. And the mercy of the Lord is so great. It was a brand new again this morning because you and I can't possibly walk in that way all the time. Can't do it. Man, we're bombarded by everything imaginable from every direction. And things happen on the earth. And that's why we need a Savior. And that's why it's not by works that we can gain the favor of the Father. He got favored one time. That's when his son hung on a cross and took every sin that I've ever committed or ever will commit on his back so that I could know the righteousness of God through Jesus. So if you're going through a rough time, shake it off. Listen, good days are coming because God is faithful. You hear me say it all the time. God is faithful, and he's going to <coughs> excuse me, complete the work that he has begun in you and in me and in your children and in your relatives and in your friends. If they're following Jesus, he's going to complete the work that he has begun in them. I don't know what the end of my life will look like. I, I'm so grateful for how he has used me over the last particularly 25 years. But I don't know what the end will look like. I don't know what there is left to accomplish. I just pray for grace to take one step in front of the next to whatever the Father has so that I can stand before him someday and hear, well done. Isn't that all you want to hear? <laughs> oh, goodness. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. What a reward that will be. Hallelujah. Okay, where to go? this one yet there will never be another love for me like your love there will never be another song I sing like your song Sweetest name of all, the one on whom I call my Savior. There will never be another one for me like my Lord. for me like your love 
what's in my heart You're the sweetest name of all One on whom I call My Savior There will never be Another one for me Like my Lord I love to worship Him with this song There will never be
every religion through the test of time no one would compare to you my savior for only you are the one who was dead and then lived again and reigns at the right hand of the father never be another one like you another one like you Probably, well, it's one of the two really super simple songs on the album. There's no, it's just a little chorus. There's no verse to it. There's not a bridge to it. <clears throat> it's not even how you're supposed to write a song. But I enjoy singing that song probably as much as anything on the album. Uh, Your Kingdom Come, I'm talking about for those of you that may not have it. And, um, I don't know, there's just something to it. There's something to the simplicity of that expression that just makes me want to sing it over and over and over again. I I don't want to talk too much about it. I, I love the thrill of putting a full orchestra on songs that are born in heaven. I wish that I could release a brand new album every single year. I really do. I can't. The inspiration would not be there. And, but when you hear it all come together, when you see secular violin players and cello players and oboes and flutes and French horns who are just doing a job but not realizing that they're playing under the anointing of God. Can you hear it on the album? It's an amazing thing, and it's exactly how this earth was supposed to function. The music of the earth should have been absolutely five-star all the time, glorifying the creator, the chief musician, as I like to call him. And we see so much else. Liz and I were watching a documentary on a rock group this year, uh, this week, and they've been popular for 40, 50 years, called Chicago. And to watch the different phases of their band uh, through the years, and they made great music in a secular way, but when it was all said and done, these guys are holding nothing. And Liz brought that up. She's like, man, their whole life, what do they have? They made a few tunes that millions of people clapped their hands to. But what is the eternal redemptive purpose? And you see, when we put songs like 
there will never be down and we hire an orchestra and they play they just play the notes but the king takes over because it's his music it doesn't belong to satan or whatever other thought process you might think of with other types of songs it's the king's music there's no higher music. There's no higher calling. It's the king's. Hallelujah. Wow. I don't know if those of you who have purchased the album have been listening to the very last bonus track after the album basically of worship is done. Um, it's a classical tune that I wrote, and I don't write many of those, hardly any. But there's, uh, there's a therapy in this song. And I'm going to read the words tonight for those of you that maybe haven't looked inside your album cover, or you might have bought the digital download and don't have the words available. I'm going to just read. This is the lyric that God gave to me after I wrote this, what I consider one of heaven's beautiful melodies that the Lord shared with me. And I really wrote, well, I wrote this after my brother passed, but a good while after as I was processing everything. It's called Someday. And this is for every one of you who are followers of Jesus, because this is what's coming. Someday, we'll see our Savior. <coughs> Someday, we will behold His face. Someday, all trials past, now home at last to join our King in heaven. Someday we'll know life's answers. Someday all mystery will be gone. Someday He'll call our name and we will reign with Him forevermore. We'll walk the streets of gold. I'll sing a little bit of it. Swim in the crystal sea. Think of it. We'll dance with reckless joy. For our hearts will be finally free. We'll tell the story true Of His amazing grace In this amazing place For all eternity goes on now to say our journey brings in life many trials. How many of you are going through a trial right now? I know so many are. Battling sickness, battling poverty, battling unsaved loved ones, battling so many different kinds of things. Our journey brings in life many trials. Sometimes our smiles are through burdens great to bear. To feel the pain of losing ones who've been dearest, those that are nearest to our hearts, no longer there. So many of you have said goodbye to a loved one or several in the past two years, one year, 
some in the last few weeks or months. We're going to a place where there's going to be no more tears, no more sorrow. This goes on to say, but through it all, he is our peace, perfect peace. When our minds are stayed on him, we'll hold fast through seasons of sadness for joy will come when morning dawns and we will sing again of his redeeming love. Friends of God, whatever you're going through at the beginning of this new year, I don't know, you might have a broken heart. You might feel like your prayers are bouncing off the ceiling and coming right back at you. I want you to know he hears every single offering of prayer. Trust him. Put it out there and leave it in the hands of the Lord. Whatever the burden is, whatever you're going through, leave it in the hands of the one who made the heavens and the earth. If he made you, he knows how to get you home. So this crescendo builds up now after we've come through this introspective, interperspective uh, section of song. And it says, someday, <laughs> I got to bring it up some. We'll be with Jesus. Someday we'll know our freedom. Someday we'll join the throng. We'll sing the song. Of our triumphant King. And someday He'll wipe all tears away. Someday all nations, <laughs> all nations will obey. Someday our victory won through Christ the Son. We'll celebrate his great love. Oh, friends, can that day be far off right now when you see all that's going on in the world, tribulations everywhere? Someday, soon, he's coming to take us out of all this to be with him for all eternity. The last couple lines of the song. And someday, yes, one day, One soon day, I want to hear him say, Well done. Hallelujah. for joining us tonight. Thank you for worshiping with us tonight. It's been a joy to be in your homes. It's been a joy to just spend an hour with Jesus with you. 
I pray that you have a great rest of this week. Stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep your eyes on the one who never changes. God bless you all. Until we meet again, bye-bye for now.